Good evening, laddies. Let's do a DNRS Maywood Park recap for Thursday, October 30th. First of all, I'd like to just say that uh, I'm sure we have a lot of happy customers tonight, and I'll get to that later and tell you why. Let's get right into these, uh, this recap here. Top rated winners, two. Second rated winners, four. Third rated winners, one and one fourth rated winner. Eight winners out of my top four rated out of 11 races. Six winners out of my top two rated out of 11 races won. Seven winners out of my top three rated out of 11 races won. So let's get right into it with the first race. Didn't have the first race. The two horse won it. I had the four rated on top. Had them rated four, seven, eight, six, five, one. The two beat the four, my top rated horse. And my five horse, who I had rated underneath the four. Prosper. Ellen Fleischer. My buddy Ellen Fleischer. His mom and dad live out here in Summerlin. They're at the Rampart Casino every day. Every day they go to the Rampart. They love it. They love it. They go to the Summerlin Room and they get the free spread that they put out for Summerlin Room members. Very nice people. I see them all the time. Say hello to them. I haven't seen Al Fleischer out here for a long time. Haven't seen him, haven't ran into him when he comes out and visits. But anyway, Alan Fleischer got the job done. He dropped her in for four and uh, got the job done. But, you know, his lines, seventh, seventh, fifth, eighth, eighth, seventh, ninth, those were his last seven lines. So, you know, even though the class dropped, she wasn't really in that great a form, but she got the job done, and congratulations to Alan. Race number two, top rated winner. Favorite. Had him rated 247916. Came in 296. The three was fourth. Didn't have the three for the super, but had to try. And the exacto with the top rated winner on top. But the other numbers underneath. The exacto only paid 1480, but the try came back nice 172 with the top rated horse on top. And my other numbers underneath. Moving on to race number three. Uh, my top rated horse won that race, the four. He was a favorite, and I had the uh, try and exacto with my other numbers underneath. I had him rated 418725, came in 4276. Didn't have the six for fourth, so no super, but the payoffs were cheap. $8.40 only on the exacto, $46 on the try, and that was it on that. So two top rated winners out of the first three races. Moving on to race number four. My second rated horse won that race, the one horse. I had him rated 517648, came in 1756. So therefore, my second rated horse won. The third rated horse ran second, the top rated was third. So, box up my top three rated, $19 exacta, $51 try. Box up my top four super, $70. Simple as that. Not big payoffs, but nevertheless, the winners came out of my top three rated, and the super came out of my top four rated. Moving on to race number five. Uh, came in 2137. I had him rated 195234. There was a driver change in that race on the seven horse from J. Fox to Oostine. When I saw that, I just skipped the whole race and didn't play it. They were betting the seven real early. He, he wound up closing at nine to two. Probably would have went off at 92 to 1 with Fox driving, but he got the 8 to 1 morning line. But when they put Oostine up on him, he went off at 9 to 2 after being pounded early in the betting. I just passed the race. Didn't have time to rework the figures, so I just said, just pass it. The heck with it. And my fourth rated horse won the race, and my top rated horse ran second. But nevertheless, I didn't bet the race. Fourth rated winner, top rated second. Oostine was fourth in the race. Maybe he needs a little more, maybe he needs some more drives. He's a little rusty. Got to get the feeling back. Anyway, moving on to race number six. I had him rated 653487 and it came in 3654. The payoffs were chalky. The winners, the winner, the second and third horse all came out of my top three rated. $16 exacta, $33 try, 
and only a $35 super. All the winners came out of my top four horses, with the top, with the exact in the try coming out of my top three. But the payoffs weren't that, so you know, can't make no money on that unless you catch it good. Anyway, moving on to race number seven. Didn't bet this race. What kind of race is this? Three horse entry. Five five horses uh, uh, betting interests with a three horse entry. Dead chalks. Who's betting a race like this? Who cares? The speed in the tunnel for three year old fillies purse ten thousand. A little old stake race for ten, and you get horses like this in there. I had them rated one three two. Came in three one. There was nothing but exact the betting as far as gimmicks go. Came in 3-1, exactly paid $8. So I guess if you pound on the top, those top two horses, 1-3, and you pound on it and bet yourself a $100 exacta box, you pick, up, uh, you pick up some money, right? 400 for two. Make 200 That's how you got to bet these kind of races. I'm not taking a shot at that, are you? Garbage race. Garbage! Moving on to race number eight. Uh, I had him rated two, three, seven, nine, eight, six. This was the start of the pick four, by the way. Uh, my second rated horse ran second. My top rated horse ran third, but they got beat by my fifth, by my sixth rated horse. One of those deals didn't cash. I don't, I don't put the sixth rated horse over the top two. Didn't do it. So chalk it up. Chalk it up as a no-profit race on that one. Moving on to race number nine. I had them rated 618532. Now, these payoffs were nice. These are the kind you wait for with the DNRS numbers. My second-rated horse won. My third-rated horse ran second. So box my top three rated, as I always say, and catch a $69 exacta. Key my top two rated on top five deep with the one horse, my second rated horse winning, and you catch a $476 trifecta. And you do the same with the supers, and you catch a $270 super. But that's only $27 for 10 cents. There was a dead heat for fourth, by the way, between the two and the six. Oh, uh, wait, no, the two and uh, somebody else, I think, was a dead heat for the two and somebody else. No, two and three. Uh, th the three horse was third. I think, yeah, three horse was third. So, yeah, no, I did have it for 270. However it finished, I don't even remember. Anyway, that's not important for the supers. What's important is the try 476, the exact 69 on DNRS numbers. Top three exact the box. Top two rated on top five deep. Catch the tries, then the supers, the whole ball of wax. I believe it was a dead heat somewhere in there. I can't remember, but it doesn't matter. Pails were good. But now, moving on to race number 10. Gotta love the numbers, laddie. You gotta love those numbers. Right, guys? Right, customers? You happy tonight? Huh? You happy, all customers? Some of you syndicate guys to bet on your own, bet the DNRS numbers on your own. You love this, too, right? In the 10th race, I had them rated 48259. There was a scratch in the race, the seven. Seven was scratched, so he's out the door, laddies, out the door. I had the seven rated on top, by the way. But when he's scratched, out the door. That left the numbers to be 48259. It came in 482. Ice cold. Ice cold exacta. $200.40. Ice cold trifecta. Seven hundred and twenty-nine dollars. Right, Burns? Boy, I hope Burns was on that one. I know Burns bets all ice colds at the start of the night. He just puts them in. I gotta be paying attention though, Burns. I'm sure you were around. Saw the seven or scratched. So that left the numbers four eight two, top three. Ice cold. Two dollars and two dollars. Nine hundred and twenty nine bucks, huh? Yeah. I know you guys love it. So there you go. The DNRS gave out another $200 ice cold exacted this week. What was it? The other day? Uh, so was that, what, Sunday, was it? 
that I gave out $172 ice cold exacta. Once again, I'll say it again. $20 ice cold exactas every race and $20 ice cold tries every race. Sit back and wait till they come because they come in a lot. But what do you catch what do you catch in the last seven days? Or six days or whatever it is. Seventeen hundred, two thousand, and uh what's a what's a twenty dollar trifecta for that pays seven hundred and twenty nine dollars? Twenty nine dollars. Seven thousand two hundred. But you gotta remember if you got it for twenty, if you should have that for twenty, it's not paying seven twenty nine. You're knocking that baby down to about 500 or 400 maybe if you got it for another $20 ticket out on it. But nevertheless, would you take it? Would you take a $400 ice cold try for 20 and pick up 4,000? You got to, customers, you have to come in the door or if you're betting on a computer or whatever you're doing, pay attention, get the scratches, stuff like that. Walk in the door, bet all the races, $2 ice cold try, $2 ice cold exacta, $5 ice cold exacta, whatever your, whatever your bankroll can sustain, take yourself those ice cold exactas and tries every race. And then you got them all in, sit back, don't worry about them, bet your other numbers, mix and match your other numbers, box up your other numbers, key your other numbers, part wheel your other numbers. But don't leave out those ice colds. Because when they come in and they pay this kind of money, like they have been, it hurts when you don't have them. It hurts a lot. But anyway, there you go. And 10th race, I had him rated 215874. Came in 156. Second rated horse won. Third rated horse was second. Box up my top three rated exacta, $29. I missed the try in there. Didn't have the six. The six ran third. The two was fourth, I believe. But the six got in there third. So no, no trifecta that race. Only the exacta and second rated winner. I guess in the pick four, I didn't even see what the pick four paid. Let me take a quick, let me take a quick glimpse here on the computer. My eyes will be rolling around here a little because I'm going to bring up Maywood Park on my computer here. And I'm going to look for race racing information results and I'm gonna look for charts and then I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm gonna see pick four three thousand two hundred and twenty seven dollars wow nice nice let me see in the pick four eleventh race second rated winner tenth race top rated winner seventeen dollars Ninth race, second rated winner. What did he pay? Seven bucks? Eight bucks? Ten bucks? Set the tempo? Can't remember. So in those last three legs, all he had to do, top rated and second rated. But in the first leg, you have to go deep. You know, like a, you have to go six deep to, catch, to use that six horse in there. But if you do it, what do you catch? Like I always say, Top two, top two, top two, six deep. Top two, top two, six deep, top two. Top two, six deep, top two, top two. Six deep. Top two, top two, top two. That's it. It costs a little bit of money, but you know what? If you want to put it in, that's how you got to catch these things. But anyway, numbers are always right there staring you in the face. So, laddies, that's how it went tonight. Not bad, not bad at all. Especially when those nice payoffs come in with those ice cold, big tries and exactas, and those nice tries that pay 476. Those other races, popcorn money. You know what are you gonna do? You rate them, they win. They don't pay nothing. You can't do nothing about it. You know, that's how it goes. But anyway, I'll drink to that. Uh, have a little organic wine. It's early here in Vegas. It's not even 9.30. Relax, have a little organic wine, and say congratulations to all the customers out there that captured that ice cold exact and try. And to any of you syndicate members out there 
that bet the, the numbers on their own. Congratulations to you and those ice colds. And uh, to all you guys that don't get the DNRS numbers, that's not a problem. I hope you do very well on your own. I like to see everybody win. If you could pick them, get out there and pick them ice cold too. That's what I say. Or you can always follow Jeremy Day, Tom Kelly, Mike Paradise, Chicago Handicapper. You can follow them. See if they give you ice cold $200, $172 exactas, $700 ice cold tries. Yeah. You can follow them because they're free. They're free. You can get their picks free. Yeah. Because Dan Nance charges for his. That Dan Nance. That Dan Nance charges for his picks. What does he get off charge? What does he think he is? charging for his picks. Let's cut him down. Let's call him five bucks, five bucks, five bucks. <laughs> Isn't that right, boys? Hmm? Good. Five bucks, five bucks, five bucks. Anyway, that's it for Thursday night at Maywood. And tomorrow's another night. Got to get to work on those numbers in the morning and have them ready to go for delivery by maybe noon my time. And let's hope we capture some more ice colds or some nice payoffs. That's all we ask for. When the ice colds come, they come. So anyway, hopefully I could be on tomorrow night. I get, like I said, the races end late on Friday, like 10 o'clock my time. They roll, they drag them out. Do you ever see a track that drags out these races more than Chicago tracks do? I mean, they just drag them right out. Unbelievable. But that's what they do these days. And you got to bear with it and you got to live with it. So, because that's all I got to say for tonight. So until tomorrow night, guys, I hope you do well tomorrow night, and uh, good racing.